YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back for some quick fix videos for you guys on Zodiac's TR2D suction side pool cleaner. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you guys how to tear this thing apart from the outside in. All right guys, and we're back. So again, today we're gonna do some quick fix videos for you guys on Zodiac's TR2D suction side pool cleaner. As you guys can tell, I kind of already have it deconstructed here in front of me. If you guys wanna know how to get to this point, check out the playlist in the description. We'll show you guys how to tear it apart from the outside in. For today's video, I actually wanna show you guys how to remove this float that's located in the front part of the frame. This float is really important to the cleaner functionality as it will help that cleaner kind of stay upright as it's ticking around the pool floor. So if you get a crack or a hole in any of this plastic on the float, you're gonna definitely wanna make sure that you replace this. It does have Zodiac's nice little logo on there. So when you do actually buy a new one, it will come with that same thing. So then that way you guys uh, are, are being able to rep the brand, everything for the cleaner, as well as keeping the color blue that they are notorious for for that. So really, really simple, quick fix. Uh, you do need a flathead screwdriver, which I forgot. Aha. So with a flathead screwdriver, it doesn't have to be a, as big of a screwdriver as I have here. You're just going to make sure that you go along the sides on the inside of the float. As you guys can see, they've actually pre-split the frame back here. So that the point of that is to allow you to remove this float because as you guys actually start cranking on removing the float, you'll see that the frame will actually kind of flex. So what you wanna do is just kind of get that flathead in there, kind of push it off to the side so that you loosen these little clips that are on each side. You're not gonna be able to push them in from the outside. The only way to do it is to kind of peel back that frame. Again, that's why they keep it bent it, or cracked. It is meant to be that way, it didn't break. So. Once you guys get one side off, it's actually pretty simple. You guys can just kind of rotate it to get this float out. It's a cool looking float. It's not uh, similar to a lot of their pressure cleaner floats where it's that big round buoy look. It's just a small little plastic piece here. It's a hollow. So then that way it holds the air for you guys to make sure that the thing floats. It does have a little like non-slip grip here on one end so that as you do install it, you do want to make sure that it goes in the right way. It is directional and uh, you guys want to make sure that basically the logo is going to face the back side of the cleaner. So it's actually going in this way. This is actually the front. Um, once we actually get to the pleated seal, I'll show you guys um, which way to focus that. But to reinstall it, you're just going to do it the same way that you took it off. You kind of want to focus on one side getting in there. And once you hear a click like that, then you know the one side went in and go ahead and finish it off and push in the other side. Let's see if we can get the same. Same clicking noise, and then your new float is installed. Again, if it does not sit in this frame piece, it's time to replace the entire frame. Again, check out the links in the description. We got all the parts available for you guys directly on our website. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll have a ton more videos coming your way on this and all other cleaners out there. So until then, I'm Kyle from ePool Supply, and we'll see you next time.